Hey everyone, this is Daryl, a.k.a. The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today we're going over a comic book, action figure, and pop vinyl haul for the for the week. What is today? Today is uh, July 13th, or July 13th, 2016. Ah, uh, let's see what we got. Um, you know, to start off with, um, I picked up a new video game. <laughs> uh, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I remember the original one, and I, I cannot remember... If it was for the Xbox or the, uh, the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One was one of the first games out. But Mirror's Edge, this is the new one, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So I thought, you know, I'll pick that up. And since I'm a member over there, they, you know, it's $33 instead of the $30, $37, basically, $36.99. So, you know, give that a shot. If I don't like it, you know, let's take it back, right? Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we'll start off with the independents this week. Got a got four of those this week. That's more than I more than I usually get. But we start off with uh, Malar's World Annual 2016. It's got a little bit from a few different comics in here, and I'm a big fan of, of uh, Malar work. Uh, is it Mark Malar? Uh, does a lot of really good stuff. So definitely check this out. Uh, you got who else in here? Uh, Kick Ass, Hit Girl, Chrononauts. Uh, Kingsman, American Jesus, and Starlight, and really good stuff, really good artwork, as you can see with that, the uh, kick-ass hit girl on the front of this one, really good stuff, so we're going to give that a shot, check it out, uh, let's see, let's skip those two around, uh, next we're going to Aftershock Comics, Aftershock is, is a comic, they're pretty new on the scene, and so far they have had some really good stuff. Super Zero, as I've mentioned a hundred times on here, I'm sure, is probably one of my favorite comics out right now. Uh, the sixth issue just come out last week, or yeah, I think it was last week. Really good stuff. Really, really good. And uh, when I was down in Charlotte at Heroes Con, I met one of the publishers. And so, and I was checking out some of the stuff, and I picked up the first three issues of Rough Riders. And the new one just come out. So, definitely go check that out. Uh, there's another one that I'm going to probably get. It's called Strayer. Strayer or Strayers. I can't remember if it's singular or plural. Strayers. I think Strayers. And so I'm definitely going to want to check that out. So this is good stuff here. Definitely check it out. Next, um, right off the bat, I just saw the name uh, Jimmy Palmiotti. And down below, I see Amanda Connor. Okay, from um, Super Zero, uh, from uh, the new Harley Quinn, the new 52. And I love their artwork. I love their stories. So I figured I'd check this out. This is from uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, Justin Gray. And down below we have uh, John Timms, Paul Mounts, and Amanda Connor. So I figured I'd give this a shot. And you can see that artwork. It, it's it's a very, it's really good. I love the artwork out of the Jimmy Palmiotti, Amanda Connor stuff with the Harley Quinn and Super Zero. And it's it's very it's very similar. And when you see it, you can you can kind of tell that's where it's coming from. But it's called Delete. It's a new series. Um, this is issue number one from Devil's Do, uh, first comic. So you know what? Let's give it a shot and see what, what it's about. And last of my independence, I picked up uh, Bruce Lee: The Dragon Rises. This is issue three. Somehow or another, I've missed issue two. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, maybe my shop didn't get it. I don't know. But I just somehow missed it. So I'm going to have to find that. So we'll definitely check that out. Being a mixed martial artist for since 2000. Yeah, so I, I, Bruce Lee's the man. He's the man. Next is um, Marvel. Um, the fight continues. Spider-Man wall climbers. Uh, my guy at, the, at uh, Chris at Untamed Worlds here in Lynchburg. He gave me this right here. It's just a flyer. But you know what? It's pretty cool. This is actually one of the variant covers, actually. Um, variant cover number two, I believe it is. So that was cool. And going to go and give me that while I was there. Let's see. Where are we at? Uh, Marvel. Not too many Marvel, actually. Uh, we have um, the unbelievable Gwenpool number four. And there we go. I like the glasses and a, a little, little wry grin on her face. Like, guess who? <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. That looks good. Good stuff. Gwenpool number 10. Next, we have Silk with Mockingbird on the front. That's a fun cover right there. I really like that cover. That looks good. Uh, Silk, great character. So that looks really, really good. 
So I can't wait to dig into that one. Uh, next is a couple of Civil War. Uh, we got the regular Civil War. You have Hulk with Iron Man right there on the front of that one. This is number three. Right there. Looks good. And so far the story on this, real good. Really, really good. And then I had to get that sketch version again. And like I say, every time we get these, that um, there's, I think, I can't remember if there's going to be eight of them. But you, you, they're going to be uh, connecting so you have a big, huge sketch. And so far, I've got the first four of them. It was uh, for issue zero, one, two, and three so far. So I really like how that looks. That's cool. We got Cap, Iron Man. Uh, not Iron Man. Cap, um, uh, Daredevil, and it looks like Lady Thor up there with a the hammer. Looks really cool. I can't wait to finish this whole thing so I can see what the, the whole thing looks like. When I do, I'll be sure to let everyone see it. Uh, next, we have some Rebirth. Some Rebirth. Actually, this time, I actually passed on a couple variants, which I'm going to be passing on more of them uh, now that the first wave of them is kind of gone. Uh, like this one, for example, I actually picked up the variant and not the regular copy of the new Superman. I like this cover better than the regular one. I thought that looked pretty good. So I figured I'd get that one instead of the other one. So, you know, this is one of those that I'm going to give it a shot. And if I like it, I'll keep getting it. If not, then I'm just going to let it go. Uh, next is The Flash. This is one that I passed on the regular copy as well and picked up the variant. I think that looks really, really cool. Uh, the first Flash comic, really good. So um, if you start in the Rebirth series, this stuff, it's good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, next is Nightwing Rebirth, number one. So I picked up that one. And I went ahead and picked up the variant on this one as well. I thought that looks really cool. Um, and the reason I picked up the variant on this is I really love uh, this version of them with the DC logo beneath. It looks just like an action figure. So I, I definitely bought all these. Like that, which looks really cool. Next is... Um, how Jordan and the Green Lanterns Core. There we go. Bought that one. The regular one. Looks good. Looks really cool. Oh, that ring looks great. Looks really, really cool up close. And then we have that variant again that I think looks great. I really hope they come up with like a line of action figures like this because that'd be phenomenal. I would definitely have to try to get those. Next is uh, Wonder Woman. And on these, I went ahead and picked up both versions of them because I just think they look really good. What does that say on there? Uh, year one begins here. I mean, that statue built into the, like that mountain right there. Man, that looks really, really good. Man, I think that looks good. And I picked up this one. I guess this will be the 75th anniversary issue for Wonder Woman. I think that looks amazing. The Amazon, the Amazon Prince looks great. Uh, next, Detective. Like my Detective and my Action, I'm going to be getting all those. Uh, Harley, um, Suicide Squad, I'll, I'll definitely get all the variants on those as well. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Oh, that's the variant. Let's get the regular one first. Uh, Detective number 936. There's the regular version with Clayface on there. Suicide Squad in theaters on the 5th of august almost time for that i'm getting so excited can't wait and here's the variant copy which looks really cool looks really really cool look at him kicking everybody in the face and next number uh 959 of uh, Super, uh superman action comics that looks great there's Doomsday behind him. You got Superman. That is phenomenal. That looks great. For those who don't know that, that's Clark Kent right there that Superman is holding. <laughs> looks awesome. And last but not least, the uh, variant on here. There's that one. Got Lex in the background. Looks really cool. Okay, that is, I said last but not least, that is not last. Um, last week or earlier this week, actually, uh, my last video, actually, um, I, I got this 
from GameStop. The uh, GameStop Rewards, you can see it. There it is. The Sketch. And Michael Lil, I hope I pronounced your name right, L-E-I-L. -L. Michael, uh, thank you very much for letting me know that these were actually in stores. Or you could get them online. And my local GameStop actually had one. So now I've got the Sketch and the regular version. Thank you for letting me know that because, like I say, I, I'd been looking for them and I, I guess I just missed it online because I looked up uh, Harley Quinn comics and nothing was coming up. But there it is. There's the color version and I have the sketch. Thank you so much, Michael, for letting me know. I really do appreciate that. Uh, that's all I got today. No um, action figures, uh, no pops. Uh, again, nothing is just out there in the pops right now. Uh, the only thing I'm looking for is uh, the Walmart Harley Quinn, the Dr. Harleen, and the Walmart Joker. That really seems to be all that's out there. I'm, well, I'm trying to find that uh, Target Batman that uh, I'm never going to find. I guess it's probably done by now, so I probably won't be able to find it. But that's all I got right now. Um, let me know what you guys are getting this week. And that's all I got. You guys have an incredible day.